said that one of my favorite spots tonight is Southeast Wind. Um, I've had a lot of luck with this place in the past. I've shot quite a few deer in, in this area. And uh, the wind is kind of not what I want tonight, but the southeast. I usually hunt it on a east, northeast, but you can get away with the southeast. Kind of a marginal wind, but it should work out pretty good. But uh, there's, I know there's a big buck in here. Like I'm in here, scouted it last year. And uh, there were some huge rubs in here. I never heard of a giant deer getting killed in here, so quite possibly he's still in here, but I'm really close to bedding area uh, on these big ones. I know where they bed at. They're about 80 to 100 yards away, so I'm hoping that they're uh, they're bedding up there tonight. They get up and they work their way towards the crowd field like they always do. I come in here on the lone wolf uh, really quiet. I've been, it's taking about an hour and a half to get set up. I've just been doing it really slow. Because I know these bucks are bedded really close. But it looks like there's somebody put up a uh, stand in here or something. Because there's a bunch of uh, flags coming in here. But I don't know if that was from last year or what. But we'll see what happens. I'm pretty excited about them not having it. Some, something's going to happen. I might shoot a doe. I don't know. I'm not sure. But got on a buck hunt tonight. But we'll find out. Stay with me. It's about 5 o'clock, 5.30, I think. And uh, we've got about an hour, hour and a half of hunting left. Usually by now, an opening day in here, I'd see a doe come squirking by or one off in the distance, but I ain't seen nothing yet. It's kind of got me wondering if anybody's been in here and uh, been scouting or something, got them all spooked up. But rather than that, I'm going to stick to it. I know there's something in here. I know there's a big one in here. There's a big one in here every year. So... We'll see what happens. I just shot a giant baby. Oh, thank you. It's been a rough year. Uh, my dad just passed away back in May, and he's always he's always the one that's one to text me and call me all the time. I'm hunting. He he couldn't get out anymore, and he would just love it. 
said that 140 right underneath of me and he come under the stand he come under the stand I almost thought about shooting him I said there ain't no way this is gonna work he got right underneath the tree and I was shaking so bad because I seen that him back there and he ran under he got spooked and ran into the tree and went deadly downwind to me dead downwind and I was I was swear how the deer was gonna snort and that deer would never come and he I don't know where he went if he stood back there or what happened but I looked I just kept watching over there around this tree and here he come he come I don't even know how far a shot is 20 yards oh I'm sorry about the shot I mean it's the only shot I had it was quarter and two and I shot just like dad did too one time right through his antlers and I spined him I got a follow-up shot I don't even know what I got on video I don't even care this, I bought this lone wolf tree arm this year and I, I hardly had time to use it. And I just had problems with it all night. I've been hanging my bag on. It's the only place I got to hang my bag. And uh, yeah, it's been a pain in the butt and I was trying to, it, it just worked out. I don't know if I got it on video. But look at the size of this tree I'm hanging in. I mean, I, you should have seen this tree. You should have seen this freaking tree shaking when this deer walked up. I don't even know how you seen it. My feet were shaking so bad. I don't know how I did it. I gotta call Colin. I gotta call Cassie. Well, here we are, October 2nd. Uh, we got him out last night. Had a couple of my buddies come in, brought the kids out, and uh, Cassie come with me. And uh, yeah, it was a good drag, and we got him out. Um, everything came together last night. I, I always say one of my best times to hunt for a big deer is the first couple days of the season. And uh, sure enough, it proved right. Um, I think a big thanks to my dad that's in heaven. He passed away this May and he would have uh, loved to be here and see this. He always did like deer hunting and he always cleaned all my deer and he's always excited to text me and see what I was seeing and he ain't this he ain't here this year and uh he definitely sent sent this one uh, my way so appreciate it. Uh, if you guys would like to page uh, 618 hunting.